see the blue sky here in the Denver area. In fact, we see some very low stratus cloud cover uh, sitting on top of us. Can't even quite see the top of Republic Plaza downtown this morning because of the fog. Not so much of an issue in terms of visibility downtown, but you get out onto the east side of town, especially closer to C-470, E-470 in Douglas County and Arapahoe counties. That's where you'll encounter some really dense fog. Centennial Airport still half mile visibility and the visibility out of DIA is still less than a mile. That's dense enough that it could have some uh, effects on flights, both arrivals and departures out at the airport. So we'll continue to watch that. Watching a little fog redeveloping now around Loveland and Windsor where temperatures are in the mid 40s or excuse me are in the 20s this morning will be in the mid 40s up that way later today. It will stay noticeably cooler across northern Colorado compared to where we will be here in the metro area later on. In fact, we're going to be back close to normal here today, which is about 56 this time of year. Of course, we've been in the 30s and 40s for highs so far this week. Uh, tomorrow temperatures don't change very much, but then on Friday we'll have a little bit more of a warming trend with 61. The only only snow that's left in Colorado from our storm is way down here in Backett County. Our friends around Springfield, good morning. You still have some snow. Once this moves on out, uh, we'll be dry statewide, and that snow should be out of the Springfield area by mid-morning. And then these clouds we have along the front range, they'll clear by late morning, and that will allow us to see a lot of sunshine as we get into this afternoon. Mountain areas today, you'll top out in the 40s. We'll see 50s on the western slope, 40s and 50s on the eastern plains. There's that warm-up on Friday, 61. Then we're back into the 50s. 50s for the upcoming weekend, 58 for Veterans Day Saturday, and 56 with sunshine ahead of the Broncos game on Sunday.